Welcome to Onfield Chronicles, the hub for everything Liverpool FC. As it was widely reported earlier in the month, Liverpool FC owners, Fenway Sports Group confirmed they were looking at a sale of the club as they are open to investment. Although they remain fully committed to the club, with Banks Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley instructed to evaluate interest around a sale. They also said there's no urgency around concluding a negotiation. Now, just a few weeks later, Liverpool's Premier League rivals, Manchester United, have been placed on sale by their own American owners, the Glazer family. The club released a statement on Tuesday saying, Manchester United could be sold as part of beginning a process to explore strategic alternatives for the club, with stadium development of Old Trafford also possible. They also informed of recent steps already been taken, which included appointing the Rain Group as the club's financial advisor and Latham and Watkins as legal counsel. The club said the process had been begun in the context of enhancing the long-term success of the club's men's, women's, and academy teams. The shocking news came on the same day Manchester United announced the termination of Christy on Ronaldo's contract by mutual agreement, with immediate effect, which is as a result of his high-profile interview on Piers Morgan and Censored. As soon as the intended sale was announced, Interested parties have emerged in numbers to rival the sale of Liverpool in the market. There is interest from the USA, where lots of private equity companies feel that football and the Premier League, in particular, are undervalued. Secondly, we already have interest in football from Abu Dhabi, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. And there are other Middle Eastern investors who might decide, on the back of Qatar and success of other Middle East owners, that are interested in acquiring Manchester United. As the sale of Chelsea last year attracted so much interest and commanded a multi-billion pound price tag, advisors have told the American owners of the top clubs that valuation of their assets were at the peak and there is a large scope of legitimate interest available in the market. This has prompted the owners to now take advantage and look for additional investments and even consider an outright sale of the moment. Also given the intended Liverpool sale has generated such big interests, and the high valuation figure the club has probably been sold for has made the Manchester United owners feel they can also generate similar figures, if not even a higher figure than that as they believe Manchester United is a unique asset. The sale of England top wall historical clubs at the same time could be viewed as a great opportunity for investors looking for such assets as they are considered as the biggest clubs in the country. It is left to see if a bidding war will occur and if and how the parties will clash in the quest to own a piece of British history. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Subscribe and like the video.